we need to sort this thing out now. These loose ends must be tied up. As soon as you can. Oh, yes. Thank you, Armand. They are arriving shortly, but you better get here as soon as you can so we can get this done. This family doesn't sit well for too long. Much like Chinese food, for that matter. But I digress. Just hurry. <laughs> Are you sure you want to be here? I mean, you don't have to be. I mean, it's not going to be very exciting. Just going over my father's will. Lots of legal mumbo jumbo. <laughs> and you know how my family can be. Sometimes they're a little... <laughs> Crazy. And, uh... In your condition, I'm not sure if it would be good for the baby to be around stressful situations. Crawford, I want to be with you. I want to support you because I love you and cherish you. Oh, I forgot the shirt that I meant to bring Bennett. Oh, it was reversible and everything. Well, here, Mercedes. Take my keys to the Benz and go get it. You'll be back in town to pick me up. It'll work out fine. Oh, no, that's OK. I'll get it later. Mom? Mom? Mother? I have something um, I should tell you. Hello? Oh, thank God! Gerald was trying to tell me something. Oh. But I digress. How are you two oh, doing? Oh, fine, fine, fine. Everything's fine. I'm always fine. Oh, and how are you, Claudia? How are you holding up? This has been such a loss for the entire family. Yes, Harold was a sweet, caring man. Always took such great care of his family. Such a giver. Do you remember when he used some of the family fortune to open up that orphanage? But I digress. Nice shoes, Gerald. No, they aren't. They're hideous. Nice shoes. Thanks, Ben. Now listen here, everyone. Armand will be here shortly to discuss this will thing so we can move on with our lives. Armand is coming? Mother, you said you were going to get a new lawyer. Uh, Crawford, don't be silly. Armand is the best, and he's always had close ties with this family. Closer than you imagined. Attention! I have an announcement! I... Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I... I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? No, no! You're just in time! You're late! Go away! You're fired! Please come on in and have a seat. My, my, Mercedes. How far along are you? Oh, eight months. Okay! It seems we're all a little on the edge. After such a tragedy, after all, Harold did fall off of a 20-story building. But I digress. Let's get this over with and something or other. Okay. I have a small announcement to make about the will. It seems that Gerald... Um, it's Jerry now? Huh? 
It's Jerry, that's what I've been trying to tell you, but see, I, I've undergone a, um, a sex change, and I would like to be called Jerry from now on. <sighs> that's so not right. Yep, I agree with you on that one. Uh, well then, oh, that changes things quite a bit. Uh, in that case, Jerry, you are no longer eligible. Eligible? For what? Well, you see, in, in the will, uh, Harold had requested that the eldest son to receive the fortune of the family. It is a tradition of the Rutherfords of Antwerp. And now that the eldest son is now the eldest daughter. So, who gets the fortune? Well, with the exception of the 10 million that goes to Claudia, so that she can live the rest of her life comfortably, and the 17 million that goes to re the remaining children, now the vast majority of the fortune now goes to the newly eldest and now only son, Crawford. Congratulations, you get it by default. I'm going to need you to fill out this paperwork. He knows. He has to know. He doesn't know. Are you crazy? He must know. He can't know. Not right now. We've been so good about this. I have to tell him. No, you don't. You just gave him to massive amounts of money. You have to leave him on until I can figure out a way to get that money. A sex change. Oh, please. You have two people living inside of you. What do you have to say for yourself? I am just trying to be who I feel like I am inside. And I must say that that particular person thinks Armand is a hot, love, and stun lover. You strop it! Oh, well, I never! First my father dies at the end of that fortune, and now you're suggesting I should play dad too? Not a trumpet! She called you a whore, you dumbass! Stop being so mean to people. I can't help it! They piss me off! That was the first time I was called a whore as a woman! Oh, joy! I can't do this anymore! Mercedes, you must. It's our chance. It's okay, Mercedes. I love you. I love you too, Armand. Shall we go? We should. They're gonna start to suspect something. <laughs> the door! It's stuck! Let the baby kick it! He has to learn how to play soccer soon anyway! <laughs> I want you all to know that I will split this money up evenly. No need to worry. You will all get far more than father a lot of you. Where's Mercedes? Where's Armand? Thirteen bottles of beer on the wall. Thirteen bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Twelve bottles of beer on the wall. There, there. She's just a dirty liar. The bitch doesn't deserve you! Oh, don't listen to her. You should kill the bitch! Gasp! Harold! You filthy! 
filthy whore! You, you bitch! Don't try to kill me! Harold's alive. Who tried to kill him? Bennett, Claudia, Jerry. Will Armand and Mercedes get out of the closet? Will Jerry ever go back in? Is Crawford heading for a nervous breakdown? Nah. Tune in next week for another episode of The Rutherfords of Antwerp.